to put all of the rack stuff into context, we're going to build something now. And we're going to start off with an empty instrument rack. So on the MIDI track here, if I go up, we're going to find um, instrument rack. Here it is. We're going to double click on here. So we've got a loaded empty instrument rack. And what we need to do is to drag the component instruments that we're going to use into this area. So I'm going to start off by building a pad. I'm going to drag the analog down here. There it is. And I'm going to basically make some adjustments to this. What I want to do first is click on the volume section and I'm going to increase the amount of voices. I'm going to put this about 24 because when you're actually playing pads, sometimes you want to have quite a lot of notes. Okay, so I'm just increasing the voice count there. The other thing that I want to do is to have two oscillators playing at once. So I'm going to come down here to oscillator two and turn it on. And just to show you how things are at the moment, that's the sawtooth as it is. If I turn on oscillator two, I get extra level and we're gonna detune these. So we're gonna go positive about 13, negative something similar. It doesn't have to be precise. There we go, We've got a nice thick sound there. So the detuning creates what we call a beating effect. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn on the filter and we're gonna get this set up fairly soon. I'm just gonna show you here. We can adjust this. I'll fine tune that as we go. But what I want to do for the moment, I want to set the actual volume envelope. So I'm clicking on the amplifier one section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up. So the attack is quite slow. Let's go to the attack over here. Maybe somewhere around here. Let me just open the filter so I can hear things clearly. So back over here, just wanted to test the attack portion there. Now we're gonna set this so that the decay is quite long. Go to about four or so seconds. You can feel that fade down to the sustain level being low, but I wanna bring this up. So let's take this higher. Got a subtle movement in volume. So just bringing it down a bit. Very slight. There we go. Now the release is quite important. We want this to be quite long. So when I let go of the keys, it fades down to silence over a long period of time. That's working nicely there. Now I want to add some movement to the filter. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to bring the frequency down. And what I want to do here is to get the envelope working to shape the filter. Now you can hear at the moment it's going bright to dull. But what we want to do is to basically have this going from dull to bright. It's a very subtle effect as well. So I'm going to slow the attack. Maybe somewhere around there. I think it's working nicely. But the problem is stain at the moment is too low. Take the release longer. And let's just try a chord. The levels are really high. That's what happens when you get pads. They're very thick sounds. Just want to bring that up a little bit more. Let's increase the envelope here. And let's take the filter frequency to something a little bit higher. Let's have a listen to that. Right, now the envelope is too much, so we're going to too high a frequency on the rise. Let's bring that down a bit. That's too low now. Let's bring this down a little bit more. Just a little bit higher. Let's try that now. working nicely but I'm feeling that the release is a little bit too long let's bring this a bit shorter the same with the amplifier release let's go maybe about 3.18 for both of those
yeah it seems to be working nicely so we're going to add a thickening widening effect chorus going to drop this in and this is literally after the analog let's have a listen to how that is now So that's added a nice amount of width, makes things sound a lot more rich and professional. So, possibly a little bit more on the release now. You know, when you're working making synth sounds, you can never guarantee it's going to be exactly how you want it when you start off. It's always a number of sort of tweaks as you go along. It's working really nicely. Potentially we could go a little bit higher on here. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some resonance just to bring out some extra energy in that as it rises up. Whoa, too much here, gonna bring these down slightly. Let's ease that down just a little bit more. So yeah, slightly less resonance, I think. I was liking the warmth of it, how it was before. So I think there's a nice little trade-off in terms of getting a balance between the two. So that's working nicely. So that's the first stage. Now I'm gonna click here on this icon here so that we can see what we call the chain and we can see the analog here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another element into the chain. So I'm gonna choose another instrument. I'm gonna use the collision. And I'm looking for a mallet sound, something quite plucky and bell-like. So um, let's have a look here, see what we've got. Let's try one of these vibes sounds. And when I play the keys, it's gonna play both together. That's quite good, but what I'd like to do with the collision is to take this higher in pitch. So I'm gonna come up to my MIDI plugins and I'm gonna to go to pitch and I'm gonna drop this in between the chain and the actual device itself. I'm gonna take this up and let's try 12. Let's take it even higher, 24. Maybe I'll try something a bit different. Maybe something like this, 19. But you can hear there that the actual analog is dominating the volume of the two. So we can click here on the analog chain, bring this down a few dBs. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, that's good, that's good. But um, I'm feeling I want to take it an octave higher yet again. So we're going to add on top of this plus 12. We're going to go to 31. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, that's good. But let's put an effect onto just the collision. We can come down here and we can go to the ping pong delay. Let's drag this to the end just after, there we go. A little bit too much of the effect, let's bring that down a bit. Okay, pad is still too loud, let's bring that down a few more dBs. Still too loud, let's bring it down a bit more. There you go, that's working nicely. But I want to get some movement here. Let's get the arpeggiator. So we're going to arpeggiate the collision, which is the bell-like tone. Let's bring this in and let's have a listen to that. That's working nicely.
Let's bring that bell tone up just a bit more. So that's working really, really nicely together. We've got those two elements with their individual treatments. We can look at the chain here. We can see what's going on. And they're both being combined into the instrument rack. So we could save that as a brand new instrument rack to use in our compositions.